Russia's RS-28 Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, known to the West as Satan-2, is emerging as a cornerstone of the country's efforts to modernize its nuclear arsenal. Designed to replace the aging Soviet-era R-36M, the Sarmat promises to provide Russia with a potent strategic deterrent capability, enhancing its ability to maintain nuclear parity on the global stage. With a formidable range of 18,000 kilometers and the ability to carry multiple independently targetable warheads, MIRVs, the RS-28 Sarmat is poised to become a key asset for Russia's strategic missile forces. However, despite its strategic importance, the missile's development and deployment have been marred by delays, testing failures, and production difficulties. The RS-28 Sarmat is designed to be a next-generation ICBM, capable of carrying up to 10 tons of payload, including up to 16 warheads or a mix of warheads and countermeasures intended to penetrate missile defense systems. One of the Sarmat's most notable features is its advanced technology, including the Fractional Orbital Bombardment System, FOBS, which allows the missile to follow unconventional flight paths, such as over the South Pole, thereby bypassing traditional missile defense systems. This capability, combined with its compatibility with the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicles, further complicates interception efforts, making the missile an incredibly potent threat to adversaries. Although the missile was declared operational in 2023, its development has faced a series of setbacks. The first successful test of the RS-28 Sarmat occurred in April 2022 at the Plesets Cosmodrome. However, since then, four subsequent tests have failed, including a significant incident in September 2024 that destroyed a launch silo. Satellite imagery revealed a 62-meter-wide crater at the test site, suggesting a catastrophic failure during the missile's ignition or early launch phase. These failures have raised questions about the missile's readiness for combat duty, despite official statements from Russian authorities that it remains a vital part of Russia's nuclear arsenal. The deployment of the RS-28 Sarmat also coincides with increasing geopolitical tensions. Russia has heightened its rhetoric surrounding nuclear weapons, particularly in response to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Following reports of Russia's use of an Orshnik ICBM to strike the Ukrainian city of Dnipro, President Vladimir Putin ordered the RS-28 Sarmat to be placed on combat duty. This move represents a clear escalation in the conflict, signaling that Russia is prepared to use its most advanced nuclear weapons if necessary. Moscow has also issued warnings to Western nations that are supplying advanced weaponry to Ukraine, including long-range missiles, signaling that such actions could trigger Russian retaliation. Russia's revised nuclear doctrine further underscores the strategic role of the RS-28 Sarmat. This doctrine permits the use of nuclear weapons in response to conventional attacks that threaten Russia's sovereignty, particularly if military assets on foreign soil are perceived as a direct threat to Russian security. As such, the Sarmat missile is not only a powerful deterrent but also a tool for Russia to project power and assert its dominance in an increasingly tense global security environment. Despite the missile's advanced design and strategic importance, its production and testing have been fraught with challenges. Labor shortages at key production facilities, such as Proton PM, have contributed to delays, impacting the overall timeline for the missile's full deployment. Additionally, Russia continues to rely on its older SS-18 missiles as a stopgap measure, underscoring the urgency of ensuring that the Sarmat can be fully integrated into the Russian nuclear arsenal. Efforts to address these issues are ongoing. Colonel General Sergei Karakayev, the commander of Russia's strategic missile forces, reported that 88% of the force's inventory now consists of modern missile systems, including the Yars and Avangard complexes. In addition, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has highlighted the progress in modernizing silo launchers and upgrading infrastructure to support the Sarmat's deployment. The Krasnoyarsk machine building plant, a key facility for Sarmat production, has expanded its workforce and capacity to meet the growing demand for these advanced weapons. The RS-28 Sarmat represents a critical component of Russia's nuclear modernization strategy. With its advanced technological features and formidable payload capacity, it is designed to ensure that Russia can maintain a credible and effective deterrent against potential adversaries. However, the missile's development has faced significant hurdles, including production delays and testing failures. While Russia continues to work on overcoming these challenges, the Sarmat is likely to remain a focal point in the country's strategic nuclear forces for the foreseeable future, particularly as geopolitical tensions rise and the global security landscape becomes increasingly uncertain.